No. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I got a red click on the coffin and I instantly started disconnecting. The only thing I can do is sit here and wait. Welcome to episode 7 of One Life Lux, my hardcore Iron Man progression series where I document my progress navigating old school RuneScape without dying or it's game over. In today's episode, we need to complete some more barrows, some more slayer tasks, and get further into the mid game. So let's get right back to where we left off. Oh my god. Psych. Let's get back to what really happened. All right, I'm back in. I don't know if I fought and killed Varak or not. I know my prayer went down by a lot. Ugh. So let, let, let's see if I was able to kill him or not. Okay, so I didn't even fight him. All right, well, that, that sucked. I might call an early end to Barrows for today if I'm going to keep DCing here. Yeah, see, if I was fighting him and he's hitting me through my prayer, he could have killed me. And unfortunately, I just checked my Ivan staff. I only have 68 charges left. So I'm going to have to go and recharge that. All right, so here we are at the well. You don't actually have to go all the way through. You just have to come up to this well. So we'll go ahead and use the staff on the well. And then we'll check it again. Now we're fully charged and we're good to go. We can get out of here. All right, getting ready to go and kill my second Hispori. So let's go ahead and drink these potions. Hopefully we get a faster time than the last kill. It was at about two minutes or something like that. A little bit better with the spec this time. There we go, <laughs> slightly faster this time, uh, 156. But can we uh, go ahead and see what we get? Go to farming level and no bucket. White lily seeds, that's good, and Iasaur seed, cool. I've got some medium and hard clues I gotta take care of, so let's go ahead and take a look at this medium and see if we can do it. Snakeskin chaps, I can make those. So adamant medium helmet, I think I can buy that. And then a brown apron, okay, so we could do this one. Let's go ahead and get to uh, most of the harmless and kill some snakes and get the snake hide. All right, here's gonna be the first step. First step completed. What's our second step? Neve, okay, I can do that. Let's head over there real quick. All right, I don't know if I have a task right now, so I'm gonna carefully talk and not get an assignment. Let's see, talk again. I think it said the answer was two. Oh yeah, it's right here. All right, so this is gonna be the third step. The song is Catch Me If You Can. And I don't have that right now. Let's see what it needs. All right, so the first obvious quest I'm gonna have to complete here is Rat Catchers. But then I'm also gonna have to complete the Giant Dwarf and uh Iklurin's little helper however you say that so i guess i'm gonna have to go and do those three quests so that's gonna take up some time one of the first things i need is a bucket of sap and i believe if you go to any tree that's like pointed at the top i don't know if this one you can do it there we go yeah so any tree that has like a point on the top pretty much you can just get a bucket of sap from as long as you have an empty bucket and a knife. All right, there's Iklaren's little helper completed. That one took a long time, especially the cutscene at the end, but there we go. There is the giant dwarf completed, and we get a ton of experience. Any levels? No levels. All right. I think we're ready to do rat catchers now, finally. Well, there's rat catchers complete, so hopefully I can go and complete my medium clue scroll now after like, I don't know how many hours of questing. All right, here's Cecilia. Let's go ahead and play catch me if we can. We got another clue. I, I hope I can do this. Southern coast of Crandor. Okay, we can go do that. All right, this is like step four, I think. Maybe five. So let's hope we get a casket here. All right, we do. All right, let's uh, let's go to the bank. 
and let's open it. All right, let's hope we get something good out of this medium casket. Well, we got a U comp bow and some trash. All right, well, we had a hard clue in the bank, so let's see if we can do this one. Shiloh Village, a bone spear, a rune plate body, and a mystic hat. I think I have a mystic hat. Does that one count? Oh, no, here we go. Here's a normal mystic hat. I don't think I have a bone spear, but I can easily go get one. Uh, where's my fire cape at? I'm gonna need that. And then a rune plate body. All right, so we're gonna go to Lumbridge, go grab ourselves a bone spear. Well, it looks like we're gonna do Shiloh Village now because we can't get in there, and I guess I forgot I haven't done that yet. So we're gonna go and do, what, our fourth quest tonight to do this clue? All right, well, there's Shiloh Village completed. I can enter Shiloh Village and complete my next uh, hard clue step. All right, and we got a clue. Speak to Oziak. All right, let's go do that. All right, he gave us a puzzle. Done. Let's talk to him. Another clue. Oh, my God. All right, Karazi Jungle. So I'm going to have to do a ton of quests to get to this one. And I think it's a good excuse to do them. So I don't have a stole or anything heraldic i don't think actually no stole actually this might be a drop one thing i've been slacking on is my achievement diaries look like crap so if you notice um for fallow or easy at least i have everything i need right here in my inventory so i can make my blurite limbs and fill my bucket, make my mind tier, all that stuff kill a duck so the first thing i'm i'm already here Let's go ahead and um, claim a book. Maybe I have to go upstairs, talk to a guard upstairs maybe. Is there a certain one I'm supposed to talk to? Here we go, talk to this guy, he gave me a book. That's our first task. And then let's go straight to Falador. And let's see, I know we have to go real quick over here. Let's go ahead and make a Blurite bar. And can I use a silver bar on here to make my tiara? So these two are gonna go together. I need to grab a hammer out of my bank, but let's put on my short bow and attack this duck. There's two tasks already. There's the water pump, so use the bucket on the water pump. All right, there's our third task completed. And then is it a haircut or a shave I need to get? haircut or a shave so let's go ahead let's let's get a shave let's see oh, wants me to take off my graceful hood let's go ahead and talk to them again what do we look like what do I have mutton chops have I had that this whole time hold on my character has mutton chops I didn't even know that let's uh let's get rid of those I don't want nothing that looks good to me select there's our fourth task. Let's see, what are we missing here? The Mind Tierra, come up here. Have I done Dork's quest actually? <laughs> let me let me check after I grab a hammer. <laughs> I haven't. Well, good thing it's easy. All right, so it's time to do the hardest quest in the game. I wanna use your anvil. Start the quest. Ready, here we go. Talk to him again. Quest completed. That was the hardest thing I've ever done. All right, now I can use his anvil, I believe. So let's go ahead and make some limbs. And then I think the uh, mind altar is up here, right? Yep, so let's run up here. All right, made a mind tiara. That's our next one. And then I think the last thing is we need to go find out what our family crest is gonna be. So let's go ahead and run down here. I think I have to go up this side. There he is. Oh, I have to open this door. What can you do for me? Can you see if I have a family crest? One Life Lux is my family name. My ancestors came from Varak. I didn't know that. So now I can talk to Cerebral in the Falador Castle courtyard to claim my reward. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, Falador easy completed already. That was very easy. And let's go ahead and use this on Herblore as I should. Easy 2500 experience. I don't know if I'm going to do all the easy diaries right right this second, but I know I want to do the Lumbridge one at least, so I might as well head over there. All right, first thing, if I can find Hans, here he is over here. There's the first one, and then I'm going to come over here. 
I'm gonna mine, I think it was iron rocks. I need to mine some iron rocks over here in Alcarid, and then also catch some anchovies. So I'll swing by the bank and grab a uh, net. So I can already see the rocks from here. All right, that was easy. All right, let's get some anchovies. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of shrimp. There we go, anchovies. And I think that's the last bit I need to do over here. I kill a zombie. I just filled whatever space I had in my inventory with some essence. So let's go ahead and use the talisman. If I can get it right, right here. Let's go in and then craft some runes. There we go. And what was my last thing? I think it was, uh, I need to kill a zombie. In the Draenor sewers. It's right up here. There we go, I've completed it. I can talk to, uh, Hacious and uh, go ahead and claim my reward. So let's let's go. All right, there we go. So I've got the Explorer's Ring and then let's go ahead and do what we're supposed to do. All right, so I might go through and look at some of the other diaries and see if there's any I can do real quick. All right, so next I think I'm gonna try uh, Lovakenj. So we'll go in here, we'll make a Strength Potion. There we go. Let's mine some iron rocks here. There we go. There's our next step. Let's see. Browse the Warren's General Store. Let's go there. There we go. Browse the General Store. Next task is going to be... Okay, I'm going to have to move my house over to Asidious. No problem. All right, so I just moved my house. So let's go ahead and enter and then leave. And then there we go. Next task is... Heal a wounded Shazian soldier. So I'm just gonna use a med pack on a wounded soldier. Okay, we're completed. And then the other one was I had to fish a trout or something. Yeah, fish a trout from the river. There we go, first one was a trout. We can just drop that. Do I have one more task? Oh, nope, that's it, speak to Elise. So let's, uh, let's head there. Now I think Elise is another one that looks like it doesn't belong, yep. Look at this dragon armor. And okay, let's go ahead and rub that. Put it on her floor. There we go. Sweet. All right. So I went ahead and started doing a little bit more Slayer. So here is a Jelly's task completed. Let's go grab another. So we have 130 worms in the Slayer dungeon here. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But let's open up these keys. 27 rubies and a bunch of gold. Cool. Our next task is going to be... Black demons. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and open these keys we got from our worms task. Okay. Some dart tips, some diamonds. What's left? All right, cool. Celastra seeds. We got a hard clue, so let's go ahead and try to get this done before we do the next task because they drop hards as well. So let's uh, get this rolling. All right, so we had a whole bunch of steps. We even went into the wilderness. What do we get from this? Is it worth it? <laughs> Absolutely not worth it at all. Holy crap, this is terrible. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and kill a whole bunch of these uh, demons here. And we've got 143 of them to go. Hopefully we get a few more clues maybe. Uh, I'm really trying to get some more of these clue items. And there we have 61 prayer from scattering these ashes. I need to uh, do some level updates more often. And that's the task completed. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a new task and see what this brimstone key is going to unlock. Looks like we're getting 165 blue dragons. And let's turn in this key and five snapdragons. Okay, cool. We can use those eventually. And here's our blue dragons task completed and I just like to sit here in a safe spot and I do this task usually whenever I'm like playing other games and stuff. But if you take a look, I have six brimstone keys from this one task. That's pretty crazy. But let's go ahead and turn these in. Okay, so our next task is 120 Toroths, you know, whatever. Not a great task. Let's go ahead and see what we got in our keys. So we've got some rune legs, some diamonds, some gold ore. Some more uh, rune, there are full helms, more diamonds, and uh, runeite ore. So that's a pretty good uh, haul. That's a whole bunch of money. 
Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room. As of right now, everything in this video has been filmed a long time ago, and going forward, everything should be caught up. It's been like eight months since the last episode, and you may have been wondering where I've been. Well, the short answer is right here. As soon as League started, I went really hard on that, and on my hardcore, I've been sitting right here fishing anglers pretty much most of the time. After League's ended, I decided to take a little break because I was putting so much time into this game, and then some real life stuff came up like moving to a new place, but all that's done with now. So I'm back to recording new content. As of the day I'm posting this video, I already have the next episode almost done, and I'm going to create a little bit of a backlog to kind of pace future uploads out. Thanks everyone who has been messaging me with all kinds of motivation. I really appreciate you all. I hope everyone is as excited as I am for what's to come with this series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.